student today we will discuss the steam concept series video 5 for the process design engineering in this video we will discuss the concept of flash steam generation and its calculation so following concept to be discussed in this video flash steam generation and flash steam generation calculation so this is about me Lokesh, I am Lokesh Kumar Singh CUMD Petroleum Oil and Gas Engineering Private Limited uh, you uh, to know more about me and our company and our work profile you can uh, visit our company website www.petrohorizon.com and you can also visit our uh, company facebook page petrohorizon oil and gas engineering private limited you can like our company page to get information about our new postings and new updates so what is flash steam generation actually if you look into this uh, schematic of uh, flash steam generation so here high pressure uh, steam condensate is passing through a control valve where we are dropping the pressure to a lower pressure and the condensate is getting flashed in this flashing vessel so the steam is getting separated from the and that that coming out from the top of the vessel and the low pressure condensate is coming out from the bottom of the uh, flashing vessel so uh, now you understand this schematic how the steam is get flashed so now come to the definition point of view so flash steam is generated usually by flashing high pressure steam condensate to low pressure so to generate the flash steam the steam condensate temperature should be higher than the saturation temperature of steam at lower pressure that means if if we want to check whether we can generate uh, flash steam from some condensate or not so what we need to see that let's say we have a high pressure uh, steam condensate at pressure T, P1 and T1 and we want to uh, reduce its pressure to P2 so that T2 is the saturation temperature at pressure P2 then this T1 should be higher than T2 then only the steam uh, flash steam can generate otherwise it will not generate so let's say steam condensate is at 7 bar gauge and temperature of condensate is 140 degree centigrade so now from the steam table we can check at what pressure saturation temperature of water is less than 140 degree centigrade so let's see the steam table so here at 2 bar gauge the uh, saturation temperature is less than 140 degree centigrade at 1 bar gauge also at 0 bar gauge also so it's our choice to keep the P2 either 2 bar gauge or 1 bar gauge or 0 bar gauge so once we know that pressure once we know that P2 then we can flash this high pressure condensate to that lower pressure and could generate the saturated steam means once we know whether we want to uh, 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 the P2 value as we have seen from the steam table P, uh, 2 bar gauge 1 bar gauge and 0 bar gauge where the saturation temperature is less than 140 degree centigrade so we can put this p2 value here and accordingly we can drop the pressure uh, here ac across this control valve to flash the stream and to generate the fl uh, fl uh, flash stream uh, steam so in this schematic of steam generation by flashing t1 should be greater than the saturation temperature t2 at pressure p2 as i told you then only the flash steam will generate otherwise flash steam will not generate to maximize the flash steam generation check the lowest pressure p2 from steam table at which saturation temperature is lower than high pressure steam condensate temperature that means we can uh, to maximize the uh, flash steam production we should choose the lower pressure so that the steam get maximum flashed so the amount of steam gener uh, steam generated can be calculated using a following equation so this is the equation where HF at P1 is subtracted from HF at P2. HF is the sensible heat of water at pressure P1 and HF at P2 the sensible heat of water at pressure P2 divided by the latent heat of vaporization at pressure P2. So here we take the difference of sensible heat at two different pressure and that difference is being utilized to generate the steam actually that's what that's what how the flash steam is generated so 
so now let's take a, a flash steam generation calculation example so let's say we have a high pressure steam condensate of 5 bar gauge of 140 degree centigrade calculate the quantity of flash steam gen generated per kg steam condensate so here we, we put p1 as in schematic p1 is 5 bar gauge and t1 is 140 degree centigrade so in step first we need to check p2 from steam table lower than p1 at which the saturation temperature is less than t1 so here we can see that uh, from 140 this is also lower this is also lower this this temperature is also lower so this is at 2 bar gauge 1 bar gauge and 0 bar gauge so if we see so from steam table at 2 bar gauge saturation temperature is 134 as i we have seen and 1 bar gauge saturation temperature is 1, 120 degree centigrade and zero bar gauge saturation temperature is 100 degree centigrade so therefore we can generate flash steam at zero bar gauge one bar gauge and two bar gauge suppose we want to generate the steam of one bar gauge so hence p2 we selected is one bar gauge and the saturation temperature t2 is 120 degree centigrade so now in step 2 what we will do from the steam table we will check the value of sensible heat of water at pressure P1 and at pressure P2 and latent heat of vaporization at pressure P2. So from here at 1 bar gauge, so we can see this is uh, the and uh, this is 506 and uh, the sensible heat of water and at pressure 5 bar gauge this is 671 and at the latent heat of vaporization at pressure uh, this is uh, 2201 so we can see here so this is 671 kilojoule and this is 506 kilojoule per kg at pressure p2 and latent heat is 2201 kilojoule per kg so now in step 4 what we'll do we'll take the dif difference of these two sensible heat at pressure p1 and pressure p2 so this is the difference of sensible heat because this heat will be utilized to produce the flash steam so how see as per the energy conservation law we say that the heat input equal to heat output so we are and the heat in our con, uh, high pressure condensate at 671 kilojoule per kg at 5 bar gauge and uh, output will be the same but 1 kg uh, at 1 bar gauge and 1 kg uh, 1 kg condensate can hold only 506 kilojoule enthalpy or sensible heat so rest of the heat which is the remaining heat 671 minus 56, uh, 506 will be utilized to generate the flash uh, steam as uh, divided by the latent heat of uh, evaporation therefore this excess amount of heat 165 will be utilized to generate the flash steam so steam generated due to flashing of condensate uh, we can divide 165 which is the excess heat by the latent heat of vaporization 2201 so it is 0 0.075 kilo, kilojoule of saturated steam that means 1 kg of high pressure condensate of 5 bar gauge uh, 140 degree centigrade it will generate 0 0.075 kg of flash steam at 120 bar gauge 120 degree centigrade sorry if condensate is 100 kg then steam generation flash steam generation is 100 into multiply with this means 7.5 kg of saturated steam so hope you understand this uh, flash steam generation and the flash uh, steam generation calculation with this example if you have any doubt you can write to us you can comment us so this is the steam table we have taken for the reference and this is our petro horizon offering for petroleum and chemical engineering student so we have three uh, programs so one is uh, uh, one month value added training course for 60 hours training and training fees is 7000 so the first year second year third year final year any candidate can join us to do this training courses and this is uh, uh, per day two hours so even during the uh, uh, semester also they can and do this training courses evening time or in the morning time so second course is six month engineering design skill development training courses and placement assistance and with certification so it's a 300 hour rigorous training uh, course so here uh, we provide uh, process design engineering skill development training and the placement and the training fees is 50,000 it could be paid in two installment so uh, this is uh, for those people who are in third year and final year 
and they want to have the off-campus placement so chemical and petroleum we have third courses chemical petroleum and mechanical third year and final year student those who want to do the uh, their project work uh, in design fields so the project time and cost depends on the student choice of design projects but it's very nominal it's not very high so uh, we are providing three days demo training and awareness classes at the Harun training center for knowing our quality of training programs and what we can offer for placement so the registration is open since 5th May 2017 you can contact us uh, for registration on our mention email id and phone numbers so thanks for watching our youtube video please keep on watching please subscribe to our youtube channel to get updated with new videos and it will encourage us to upload more videos for your knowledge and design concept please share with your friends colleagues those who are working in process design field or those who are petroleum or chemical engineers and they want to become the process design engineer in future or they want to work in design field in design companies so thanks bye bye